Hi, my name is Patrick Crispin. I'm the Director of Educational Technology here at the Keck School of Medicine of USC. Let's say that you want to flip the classroom. You want to pre-record a lecture so that when you get your students face-to-face, -face, you can spend time not going over the declarative or procedural knowledge, the stuff the students can get at home, but more importantly, you can take that time and focus on clinical skills, the things they need to be good doctors. What is available for you here at the Keck School of Medicine? Well, I want to start off here at the Keck Green Screen Studio. We're over here in the Soto building, and I'm standing in front of a, well, a giant professional green screen. And one of the benefits of the green screen is it's actually relatively simple for me to put whatever image I want here behind me. So I could, if I want to, pretend that I'm standing out on the quad at the Keck School of Medicine. And there I am. Magic of television. I can, if I want to, pretend that I'm giving a lecture in Mayer Auditorium. There we are in Mayer. I can even say, hey, let's put up an operating room and we'll show you what we need to talk about here in the operating room. Heck, if I wanted to, I could even pretend that, hey, I want to go to Mars. Let's pretend that I'm on the surface of Mars. And here I am on the surface of Mars. Now, I'm not just limited to what's going on behind me. This, by the way, could be a video. If I wanted to, I could very easily, on the screen around me, I can pop up a PowerPoint presentation or a video or anything else, and I could be teaching to the screen. So this is the first way for you to pre-record your lectures if you want to give content to the students before they come to class so that you can spend your class time actually showing how to do clinical skills. Now, the thing about this, and there are positives and negatives. The positives are, well, obviously, you're looking at something really professional. The negatives are, and there are really only two of them. One is, this isn't free. The Keck Studio, the Soto Studio, isn't exactly free. You can find out more about this at sotostudio.usc.edu. We'll put the address down here. The other thing is, there's no one in this room with me. I'm just here in front of a giant green screen. And if you're used to teaching to an audience, well, we might have another option for you. So I'm here at Mayor Auditorium, the great Mayor Auditorium, the new green screen studio. And built into every one of our major lecture halls at the Mayor Auditorium, the Resty Auditorium, the Hastings Auditorium. We've got professional cameras. We actually have a camera crew that will help you with this. And we have the ability to record you as you give your lecture. It's not just you standing in front of a screen. PowerPoint presentation, everything. I've got one up right now. You can start building on this, clicking on the remote, and it's as I'm teaching in a regular face to face classroom because the way I'm teaching in a regular face to face classroom, I can't even want to have a group of students here or teach to an empty room. You can use your some pauses. I think that flips the classroom if you're teaching to students. Well, you can do a small group of students here, so you can get that student interaction, be recorded, and then share with those students. So that's the second way for you. First way, obviously, is a small studio in front of a green screen. Second way is for you to come into one of our major auditoriums and just give your lecture. Those are great if you want to just use the technology that's already built in. And more importantly, it's easy for us to make sure that the content that you record meets USC's graphic identity standards. So the information we share not only with our faculty, staff, and students, but with people around the world. What we'll show you next is actually something that can only be used with USC faculty. You'll see why in just a minute, because it doesn't actually follow the specific guidelines for how to record and share information with people around the world. The look and feel just isn't quite up to USC standards. But I've got to tell you, it's kind of cool. And the first of the two ways I want to show you is something called the whiteboard. Let's say that you want to do what we used to call a chalk talk, where you're standing in front of a whiteboard or a blackboard, sort of writing down your lecture notes and giving a lecture to your students. Well, you can do that. You can go into one of our classrooms, go to one of our chalkboards or whiteboards and sort of write on the board. But to do that, you've got to turn your back to the students. And it seems kind of rude to me. Well, that's where the light board comes in. I'm here in the BMT building. I've got a giant sheet of glass here, lights all around me. And I have the ability very much like the green screen studio, to put up around me whatever I want. So I can put up my PowerPoint presentations, I can put up an image, I can put up a video, I can put it on any side of the screen. Let me show you that. In fact, let me put over here, I'm going to put a picture of the human spine, a, a diagram of the human spine. It's a black and white image here, but it could be whatever. We do color if we wanted to. 
And notice that I can hold my hand behind and start teaching this way, but here's where the real magic comes in. I'm going to pick up some colored markers. These are just regular colored markers. And this is where the light board starts becoming more and more like a regular lecture. I'm going to look at this board right now, kind of see that I want to write on it, and I'm going to pick up my pen and say, okay, let me show you where the thoracic vertebrae is. So here we are, we've got the thoracic vertebrae. I want to change the color. So let's pick up a blue pen. I'm going to show you the lumbar vertebrae. Congratulations, there's the lumbar vertebrae. I'm literally just writing on the screen as if I were giving a lecture. In fact, let me do this. I'm going to pick up my pink pen here. I'm going to write on the board, light board. L-I-G-H-T-B-O-A-R-D. And notice that it shows up perfectly on your screen. It's actually popping because of the LEDs. So am I some sort of wizard who knows how to write backwards? Well, the answer is no. What's going on is the camera is actually flipping the image. To me, this looks perfect. If you were on the other side of the glass, it would look backwards. But the camera is flipping the image. And that way, you can come in here and start recording lectures at any point in time. It doesn't require any special training because you've done it every time you've given a lecture. You just come in, use the board, write it up, you're done. In fact, faculty are able to knock out videos with no training whatsoever in the light board. So this is the light board studio. That's the positive about it. Let me tell you that there are three negatives. Negative number one is, notice that there's a black background behind me. It has to be black, by the way, because that makes this pop. But that's not really up to USC's brand identity standards. And sadly, that's not an official USC font. So if you want to make something that's going to be publicly visible, in other words, visible to people other than USC's faculty, staff, and students, the green screen studio or going into one of our auditoriums is still probably going to be the better approach. The second negative here that you need to be aware of is as I look through the glass, there's no audience in here. In fact, there can't be an audience because if there were, they'd be on the other side of the glass and this would be backwards to them. So again, I'm back to the green screen studio problem where there's no audience with me. There is one third problem, and I want you to be aware of this right now in case you do decide to do a light board video. As I start writing on the board and I want to change the slide, I have to clean the board. So if I want to go and change this and get rid of this sort of spine and put something else up, and we won't do that, but I'll just, I've got to scrub this thing and it's taking a few minutes and this is not the most engaging television. I want to go up here and notice how it's kind of smearing and I'm kind of shaking this thing around. And this can take a couple seconds between each and every slide. So my recommendation is really use the Lightboard Studio only for short videos or pause between each cleaning. So that's the Lightboard Studio. That's three down. I've got one more to go. So we end up back here in my office, and as you can see that I've got a camera in here and sitting next to my computer. And one of the things you can do if you want to is there's software out there called screen recording software, hundreds of them out there. We're using a program called Camtasia, but you could use whichever one you wanted. And you can actually record yourself giving a presentation in your office. You don't even need a camera. You can actually just record yourself giving the PowerPoint presentation using a microphone your computer, and your PowerPoint presentation. You are going to need one other thing, though. It's the good microphone, not just a regular microphone and not this sort of USB-type microphone that you can get for like $10 somewhere, but a really, really good microphone, something that might cost a couple hundred dollars. So we've got one from Blue, got another one that I actually use on my desktop, or we've got a professional microphone here. And what you do in the software program is you open up your PowerPoint presentation, have your computer record the screen, and well, that's it. You've produced your movie. In fact, we used Camtasia to produce this entire movie. Now, if you're going to be doing that, please check with your system chair and also with the Medical Education Committee just to make sure that you are recording something that's going to be used for instruction that fits within the USC's platforms and what we want to do. So those are the four ways for you to record videos at USC for a flipped classroom project. One, you can go to the Soto Studio, stand in front of the green screen. Two, you can come into any of our classrooms. We can record you in there. Three, you can go into the Lightboard Studio. Or four, in your office, and you don't actually need a camera for this, just a computer, you can use screen recording software. And we can help you with all that. In fact, let me put up at the bottom of the screen our contact information at cmet at usc.edu. If you have any questions or comments, give us a holler.